Today I'm going to show you how to get a soft wave and a ringlet curl using your flat iron. My number one piece of advice for you when you are learning how to use your flat iron to create curls is to practice the motion with your flat iron off. Just get used to getting the hair into the flat iron, doing the turning motion and pulling it through your hair. And once you have that down and you can flow it really well, then turn on the heat. Turn it on medium heat to start with so you don't worry about burning your hair, but make sure that you've got the motion down before you add the element of heat because adding the heat adds pressure. You don't want to burn your hair. You're now possibly messing up your curl. So just get that motion down that I'm going to show you before you even turn on the heat. So before you do touch your hair with any heat, you want to make sure you do one essential thing. You want to add heat protection. We're using Firewall today by AG. This one I really like for adding to my dry hair because it goes on pretty dry and I don't have to make sure that it dries before I touch my heat to my hair. And it also leaves my hair super, super shiny, which I really like. So heat protection before you put any heat on your hair, always. First, we're gonna do a ringlet curl. A ringlet curl means you need to take a full 360 degree turn of your flat iron. So to help with this, I have taken my flat iron and I have drawn with a Sharpie a heart on one side of my flat iron. You could add a sticker, maybe you have a flat iron that's two different colors, but you just wanna be able to determine which side you start with so you know which side to end with. So one side has a heart on it, one side does not, and that's how we know which side is which. And this is just gonna help you until you just become second nature. So we're gonna take your hair and we're gonna make sure that piece is fully combed through. My hair is brushed really well, so I'm just gonna comb it with my fingers, but if the section wasn't brushed really well, you could get a hairbrush and brush it through first. Having a really nicely brushed section is gonna help the flat iron not to stick and kind of pull, it's gonna get a nice smooth motion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna close the flat iron, you're gonna turn it, this is the side without the heart, and you're gonna turn it all the way past the side with the heart, all the way around, and then we're gonna pull down at a medium pace. Not too slow, not too fast. We're also gonna be holding the flat iron on a 45 degree angle, not vertically, not horizontally. A 45 degree angle is what's gonna give you the nicest shape of a curl. So again, we are going to close, rotate, and then start to pull down. And that is gonna give you a nice ringlet, a very traditional ringlet. So you can see I got a little crease at the top. That's just because I hesitated while I am explaining, but honestly, once your hair's all curled, those creases disappear anyway, so don't even worry if you get a crease. So next, we are going to do the soft wave. So to create a soft wave, it's gonna be a half turn instead of a full turn. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on the side with the heart or without the heart, and you're gonna flip it to the opposite side and do the same pull down on a 45 degree angle. So we'll take another slice of hair, make sure all the tangles are out and the slice is nice and smooth. So this time we're starting on the heart side, close, flip, and pull down. And because we only did the half turn, you're gonna see we get a much more elongated curl. And when you shake those out, you're gonna get much more of a beachy look. And when you shake these out, you're gonna have a bigger, curlier look. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps you be more successful creating curls with your flat iron. Please leave me any comments if you have specific questions and I will answer those for you. Bye guys.